Okay. POV, your Ron DeSantis getting ready to go out. You know, and I'm not judging you, but I'm just saying every everybody else is gonna. You just saw some of the more viral memes regarding Ron DeSantis' alleged affinity for high heels. And uh, fun fact, that first video from the girl that we saw actually is not a liberal. She's a writer for the Babylon Bee, which is a conservative satire website. So everyone, and I mean everyone, is poking fun at Ron DeSantis specifically because he's possibly probably wearing heels or height boosters or something but you just saw the tip of the iceberg because people have pointed out that his heel lifts are so high it looks like he's being photographed mid-rapture and even donald trump has gotten in on the fun sharing some of the memes accusing desantis of wearing hidden heels but i mean this is a little bit of a sore spot for desantis's team because in response to that first video we watched desantis's rapid response director christina pushaw responded saying quote pov you have nothing substantive to criticize DeSantis on as another plane load of Americans arrives home from Israel. Okay. Now, Ashley St. Clair, the girl who posted the first viral video, responded saying, uh, really disheartening to see this type of reaction to a joke. I've made many jokes about Trump and his campaign staff has never attacked me. Now, Pushaw replied to that, telling her to touch some grass, so they're very clearly butthurt. Now, I don't know if DeSantis' rapid response director has ever heard of the Streisand effect, but if she didn't know, she should know now, because Ashley St. Clair responded with a follow-up apology video that went even more viral than the first one. So, this is my first apology video. Uh, I made a joke about Ron DeSantis, there's a very popular meme going around that DeSantis wears heels, very high heels. Uh, and I made a joke. I put on my stilettos and I said, POV, you're Ron DeSantis getting ready to go out. I thought it was funny. Many people thought it was funny. I make jokes about everyone, Trump, DeSantis, Vic. But the DeSantis team didn't think it was funny. And that's what's most important. So I want to apologize from the bottom of my heart. and. They said it wasn't a very substantive criticism. And they also notified me that DeSantis doesn't wear stilettos, he wears cowboy boots. So not only would I like to apologize, but I would like to be accurate. I would like to correct the record and do this again. So take two, POV, you're Ron DeSantis, getting ready to go out. Now, as you can see, she's putting on very flamboyant cowboy boots while playing these boots are made for walking, which is why I can't play the audio for you since it's copyrighted. But I mean, this entire meme has become so big that even Politico published an article consulting with shoe experts about DeSantis' boots. And uh, spoiler alert, they think he's wearing height boosters as well. And they have a very in-depth analysis about whether or not he's wearing height boosters, which is just, it's, it's just so wild to me. Now, the reason why I'm talking about this is because DeSantis was finally asked about this during an appearance on the conservative PVD podcast. And uh, as you're going to see, DeSantis was very, very uncomfortable and uh, feigned ignorance over jokes being made about him. He claims that he hasn't seen these memes yet, but um, he's lying. But let's watch. Uh, are you the type of person like I have people around me that love to say, hey, Pat, you got something between your teeth. These are the annoying people in your life, right? Hey, Pat, pull your zipper up. You know, hey, Pat, do this. The, the, hey, pull one of your socks is lower than the other one. I'm sure your marketing team points out how they're trying to troll you in the marketplace. OK, I'm sure they're doing that. Can you bring this one clip? I know you were on uh, 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 what do you call it on? Uh, uh, what was it? Bill Maher. And Bill Maher talked about the boots. I've seen you walk with these boots. Go ahead and play this clip. This on TikTok went viral. It doesn't have a million views. It doesn't have, you know, 10 million views. This thing's got 1.2 million likes. And and some people are wondering. How, what how, are they? I don't even. So I haven't what, seen that. What there's. They've not shown this to you. Okay. No. What they're trying to say with this is that in your boots, you have heels. No, no, no. That's yeah, what no, no, to those say. are just standard off the rack um, Lucchese, um, uh, how, Lucchese. How tall are you? How tall are you, Governor? How tall? 5'11. 5'11. Okay. Why don't you wear tennis shoes and dress shoes? Uh, I do wear tennis shoes when I work out. Yeah. 100%. You do? Yep. Okay. I got a gift for you. I'd love for you to wear 
Okay, I shop at Ferragamo. Okay. And I got I don't accept gifts. I can't accept I, it. I totally get I'm it. I'm sorry. I'm going to put it here, and Ferragamo can get a nice sponsorship. And then <laughs> okay. if you wear it, you fared. I know. It, it, no, but they, here's the thing. I mean, I think with just how politics works is um, – you know, Yogi Berra, when he was um, uh, in the Yankees, they said, you know, Yogi, he doesn't look like a Yankee. You know, he doesn't do this. Yeah. And Yogi's basically like, okay, you know, if you, if you say I'm ugly, that's fine. But, you know, you don't hit a baseball with your face. And so what we're doing is, you know, really, I think, doing the, the issues, the leadership, people that are poking at you for different things, that's fine. But ultimately, that is not, I think it's a sign of strength. I think if people had, if they could say he was for a horrible sure. governor, no, it, he was yeah. this, he was that, then they would definitely do it. Um, but uh, they don't do that because I don't think that they have much there. We've been an exemplary leader. We've, we've gotten things done. Uh, we would be somebody that would be a, obviously a really strong candidate. That's part of the reason the media attacks me and everything like that. He is the literal embodiment of the crying Wojak meme with the smile mask. <laughs> Actually, I'm glad there attacking my shoes because that means they don't have anything else to attack me on okay sure listen he can pretend as if his feelings aren't hurt by this and pretend as if there aren't substantive reasons to criticize him but the fact is that there are he is a fascist book banner a racist history revisionist he's a fake vaccine skeptic who handed out covid vaccines to his donors first he's a warmonger a corporate shill he's antagonistic towards the first amendment nearly a million floridians lost health care because of him so there are many substantive reasons to criticize desantis but unfortunately for him there's also a lot of unsubstantive reasons to attack him ranging from his pudding fingers to his robotic attempts at smiling to his heels and he's an easy target it all around but he can keep coping as he continues to embarrass himself and i am assuming that the embarrassments will continue so long as he continues this failing presidential campaign which is very clearly going nowhere i mean even mike pence had the dignity to drop out so what's desantis's excuse i would imagine ego but unfortunately for him the embarrassment did not stop there because shortly after that moment desantis got offended again when the host asked him about his failing book i'm a big fan of yours okay i'm not a fan of your marketing team I'm just not. And I'm, I can say that comfortably. You can say I have one of the best marketing teams, no problem, because I think your book was a miss. I think there's a lot of opportunities that's been out there that was a miss. I was on a flight one time with Bill O'Reilly. Why was it a miss? Uh, I think your book could have done very well. And it was I think, the number one book in the country for two weeks. Yes, yeah, not a long time, though. You, oh. you're, you're a guy that should be the leading candidate for president. You were the, you were the best governor during COVID, hands down. Nobody did it better than you. No one. You had a fight. You stood up to these bullies, to all these a-holes that were trying to manipulate the voters like me. And we were walking around as if we're weird. And you stood up for those people. And I loved it. I respected it. I went around defending you constantly. And I'm sitting there saying, why are we not telling this story? Why are we not going out there selling millions of copies of this book on what you did during COVID? So that to me was a was a missed opportunity. By the way, your marketing team can hate me. I've, take, I've oh, no, look, talked well, to most. Well, I'm just giving my opinion with, on that. With the book, I don't. Yeah. I didn't really have a marketing team. I mean, you know, you're doing it, and people sell it or they don't sell it. I go on. I go on media you and whatnot. You didn't go around talking to a lot of people about your book. Though. That was a great book. We tried. I mean, yeah, but you know, don't forget, I was also in the midst of the legislative session. I had a lot on my plate, and we were doing a lot of stuff. I just love how DeSantis was perpetually offended, even as the host went out of his way to continue to blow smoke up his ass. He just he can't handle criticism very well because, like Trump, I think he's a narcissist and a megalomaniac. But the difference between him and Trump is that he doesn't have a cult to reinforce these feelings of uh, superiority. So instead, he kind of just flails and makes more of a fool of himself. But I mean, that's really all I've got with regard to this video. I thought that the clip would provide us all with some much needed levity during these really dark times. And it did make me laugh. So I hope that you'll find some enjoyment out of it as well at the expense of Ron DeSantis. Woke mom. Woke test. Woke 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 Woke